guys, my name is Lynn, welcome back to my channel, so, me and Katie are doing this again. <laughs> when, uh, so, this is another secret vlog, and I have the book in here, that's my address, I have the book in here, I have no idea what it is. Um, Katie's on the phone, she's over here, over there, <laughs> and um, I'm so excited, so, yeah, okay. Scissors. I probably should have got those up before I started the video. Okay. Do I even need them? Let's see if I need them or not. not. We're gonna use them anyway. I'm so scared. I have no idea what this is. We give each other hints, and she has no clue what mine is, the one I got her. And I'm so excited for her to open it. I actually think I might have an idea of what it is. But... You have to tell me after. Okay. I was right! <laughs> this is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. Uh, oh my god, I can't wait to read this. I was right. <laughs> but, um, I was saying that it gives me uh, Google My Blood vibes. If you're new, hi. Google My Blood is one of my favorite books. Yeah. A Google Sweet Murder is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, ooh, I'm, I'm so excited. I've heard a lot of good things about this. A lot of people really love it, and it is like kind of a booktube classic. Um, I picked the clues together, and I pick I'm so happy that I got her. <laughs> Were you so annoyed last night when I said Female of the Species? Yes, I was. Nope, you shouldn't have. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go start reading this. I know, I have to finish. I have to read a section of a book, but... Also, in case editing me wants to know... What's the date? Today's Thursday, July 16th. In case editing me wants to know that. Yeah, I'm gonna go start reading this. Thanks, Katie. I'm super excited. And this is really fun. So, okay. Bye! vlog it is July 29th now um, I would have finished it before the reading rush but I just didn't so but I have an update on this I'm on page 149 or something I don't know how I feel about this it's definitely on a topic I didn't think it would be on. Like, I didn't know it would be on mainly this. And I don't like that. I'm just going to point out, I love Alex and I love Claire slash PK. Whatever. I like I like the name Claire way better than I like her nickname. So, I'm going to go with Claire. But I love Alex. I hate Jack. I hate him. He's disgusting. And I find that his perspectives, I'm just like glancing over and skimming because it's disgusting. But I just, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, if I had known, 
what the main topic about this would be, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. I mean, I didn't pick it up, like, Katie bought it for me, but, like, it doesn't say anything about this on the back, because I read the back. But it's just weird, and I just don't like it. I don't, I don't like reading about that kind of stuff. So basically, it's, there's a lot of talk about, like, sex and sexual assault and that kind of stuff, and I don't like reading. I'm watching Parks and Rec right now, it's a good example, and sometimes Ron is all about that stuff, Tom's all about, is talking about that stuff, Chris is talking about that stuff, and I'm like, please stop talking about sex. It's annoying. And Leslie and Ben, too, I'm just like, I love you guys, you guys are adorable, but stop, please. Thank you. Moving on. But there's a lot about that kind of stuff in here, and I just don't like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that. I do not like it. It makes, it's like the only thing that I get triggered by. Also, you know, like, animal abuse. I definitely get triggered by that. Which there definitely is in here. But, um, I just don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, there's talk of this in here, but there's nothing like it's actually happening. It's talking about that it happened in the past. Um, so, yeah. Um, so it's like, it's just from the past, and I was okay with it in here, but like, there's a lot about it in here, and I just, that's the one thing I really don't like about this book. And I just, I do wish I knew that before going into it, so that I could be more aware. Um, cause I, cause I like it when it's not talking about that stuff. When it's just like, Alex and PK's, uh, you know, like, friendship, I love that. I love their friendship. I hate Jack. Just toss him out the window. But I love Alex and PK's friendship and I love how that's developing and growing and Alex is, you know, like becoming actually a human. She's not that she's not human, but like um and I like that, but I don't really like anything else. Um just it's making me uncomfortable, so that's fun. I'm going to finish this probably tomorrow or Friday morning cuz I have to finish this by Friday. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to bed now because it's like 10.30 and I'm tired. But yeah, I thought I would update you because I'm supposed to. But yeah, so probably a three star right now. And I know everyone loves it, but I just that's not something I like to read about because it just makes me really uncomfortable. So fun. I like the one thing I don't like about contemporaries. That's why I like middle grade contemporaries. Because they don't mention that. Because no one cares about that in middle school. In elementary school or middle school. They're just like, let's talk about friendship. And that's fun. Woo! Like, Dear Sweet Pete. It's all about... God, what's the name? Oscar. Is it Oscar? I feel like it's Oscar. Is it Oscar? I don't know. I think it's Oscar. And Sweet Pete's relationship. Friendship. And it's so cute. And, you know... Anyway... But this clip is kind of long, and I'm going to go edit it, and edit it, the rest of the clips from my other vlog. No, I don't have many, because I really didn't update today, because I can't tell them I'm reading this. But, yeah, so, that's my update, and I will update you guys tomorrow night, when I finished it, or have, like, 40 pages left. Because my goal for tomorrow is to get to page 300 of that, and then quickly finish it before 11am on Friday. But, yeah. So, I'll do you guys tomorrow. Hi. It is um, the 23rd of July, so it's Thursday. Um, and I just finished my little species. It's just about like 3 o'clock or like 3.20 or something. Um, on call pile... I use Copile, not for everything though. I do use Copile for like books that I don't know what I'm going to rate it. Because if it weren't for Copile, I have no idea what I would have rated this. Um, but it did come out at a 4 star. I don't know how I feel about this. Honestly. Like, Alex is everything. She's everything. And Claire is everything as well. Jack sucks. I hate Jack so much. And obviously I hate Ray. You have to hate Ray. I mean, like, but I don't know how I feel about this. 
I also liked how they used the first sentence twice. But like, uh, like the chapter that you, she uh, Mindy used the first sentence again, I was like, "That's I that mm, that's an ending." Yeah, that that. I didn't cry at the ending, but I was very emotional. <laughs> Just not happy. If you've read the ending, then if you've read the book, you guys know what happens at the end. But I like I don't know how I feel about this book. Like. Yesterday I had a five minute discussion with y'all. It was five minutes and eight seconds in case you actually cared. And I talking about how much, yeah, there's a lot of like sex stuff. Definitely, if you haven't read this, there's definitely trigger warnings for sex and rape. <laughs> it's definitely rape. So just be aware of that before going into it. I wish I was. Um, I don't know if I, sh I probably still would have read it. But I would be more aware and more keen to be like, okay, you know, and not be like, I did not know that was going to happen. But, um, it, this, this was a very hard hitting book. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this book, honestly. Um, I do get why Katie, uh, did send this to me, and thank you so much for that, Katie, of course, because this is, you know, what we do. She read, she read her book, like, freaking, oh my god, a week ago. We're like, no, she read it the day she got it. I mean, it wasn't big, so of course. I mean, I don't know if you've watched the video, so I'm not gonna say what book it is in case you haven't watched it, but the video, um, will be linked down below and up here. Um. Might be up here. Might be on both. We'll see. We'll see how I do when I edit. But, yes, I do, I just, I don't know how I feel about this. And, um, but, yes, this is a four star. And thank you so much, Katie, for collabing with me and buying me this book. And we're probably going to do this. We want to do it like every two to three months. If we do do it every two to three months. I don't. She. And bro. I read. She reads like 30 more books. She reads like 30 books a month. So. She has a lot of options. I don't. <laughs> which is fun. There is one book I do want to read. Before she does. And see if I like it. And then send it to her. So. Woo. But yeah. I'm going to go edit this. Because I have to. I have to get this out tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've read The Female of the Species, what are your thoughts on it? Um, did, what did you rate it? Did you like it? Did you not? Tell me down below. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!